Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Ryan and London back again with another video in the Madden Ultimate Freeze promo details are live I don't think they actually tweeted it, but someone did find the link So we're gonna go ahead and start talking about this because everybody knows a Christmas promo is I never say this word lit every single year and let's go ahead and start discussing this so a lot of people were wondering like are we going to have presents this year? Are we going to have, you know, Ghosts of Madden's past, present, and future? Well, guess what, guys? We're getting both. So let's go ahead and start off the article. I'll let Lennon start off the article. We do see the picture right here. You see the Ultimate for Easel NFL logo. Frozen looks really awesome. And then we're going to start talking about what we see here on the blog. And we have some pretty cool images here. A lot of cool content that we can see right off the bat. But this is just the beginning. Like, this is just the pictures that we see, the little articles. There's still a lot to come. And I'm sure, you know, as time goes on tomorrow, we're going to start seeing a lot of things in the game. So go ahead and start it off. What do we see first here in this article? All right, guys. So, yeah, Ryan said Ultimate Team didn't tweet about it, but now they actually have. But we're jumping into it. It's that time of the year again where a chilly air blasts through Madden Ultimate Team. Friday morning, which is tomorrow, guys, we're going to log into Ultimate Team and find things a bit frozen over for the Ultimate Freeze promo. It is now here, and it's going to feature some of the Mutt community's most favorite programs from seasons past. Oh, yeah. And we see here we have another image here. Looks like to be uh, badge, collectible, stuff like that. It says new badges and collectibles will be introduced that will uh, quintessential in earning Ultimate Freeze best items. So basically what it means is you're going to be needing badges, team items, like uh, I saw on their gold team logos, elite team logos, stuff like that. So there are collectibles in the game. But I don't think it's like the Thanksgiving promo where collectibles were just extremely difficult to get and everyone couldn't get like the elite, you know, leaves and stuff like that. It's going to be a lot better, I do believe. But, you know, the collectibles are not the main focus of the promo. Thank God there are new things in here that we're going to be seeing, you know, from, well, not new things, but things that we've seen from before in Madden Ultimate Team as we see with this next image. I know you guys are probably really excited to see this. DeAndre Hopkins, that looks to be like a ghost of Madden's present. And then we have uh, Randall Cunningham here. That is, of course, a Ghost of Madden's past. You guys can see that right there. It looks to be like Madden, I don't know, 2000 and 2001, 2002, whatever that might be. And then we also see an Eric Armstead here, which that looks to be a Ghost of Madden's future. So what do you have to say about these cool-looking cards right here? Yep, that's exactly what they are, guys. Ghost of Madden past, present, and future are going to be making their return to Ultimate Team. And, of course, it says you can find and earn great players from past football greatness current NFL success and future potential. I do like what they've done with the Randall Cunningham kind of doing the throwback to some of the previous content that we've seen in Ultimate Teams past. Now the ghost cards and content is something that a lot of people in the Mutt community have highly, highly suggested that they would like to see return. And here it is. And just like Ryan mentioned, the card art for these is just always top notch it seems with every new promo that comes by. So congrats to Pixel Pusher, you know, for working hard and bringing us some tremendous and incredible just photo arts all around. I like the way that these items look. And just like Ryan said a while ago, although we're going to have new badges and collectibles, they did say that they're going to be very, very important more than likely. So who knows? Hopefully they're going to be maybe a little bit more valued than normally with Ultimate Team promos. But so far... The promo is not even in the game yet, but it looks like it's going to be one of the most entertaining of the year. So let's continue, Ryan. Yeah, we don't know exactly how we get the ghost cards. I mean, I'm sure there will be collectibles involved. I'm sure there will be some pullable, you know, Ghost of Madden's present, past, and future. Um, some players that I'm sure a lot of you guys might want to hear myself and Lennon discuss, like we do have access now to LaDainian Tomlinson. So, of course, we're probably going to see a Ghost of Madden's past LaDainian Tomlinson. Let's be honest here. He was one of the most dominant Madden players of our time. Myself and Lennon growing up for sure back in the uh, early 2000s, late 2000s. I'm sure that we're going to see a lot of LaDainian Tomlinson content in the future in Madden uh, now that we actually have access to him. What By access, I mean they actually have the rights to use him again, which is really awesome. Uh, we have cards that are you know currently really good players like DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, we could see a whole you know other section of cards like that, like maybe like Julio Jones. I mean, AJ Green, just naming off receivers since we see DeAndre Hopkins here. And then Ghost of Madden's future, I mean, we see... You know, some young studs right now, like Amari Cooper, Todd Gurley, uh, the two quarterbacks, Winston, Mariota. Um, they do have Eric Armstead here. I'm not exactly sure why they'd put Eric Armstead here, as he's not one of the most, like, popular 
you know, current, you know, rookies in the game right now. But, I mean, he is a good player, and it's cool to see his picture on there. But I'm sure we're going to see a lot more than just these three cards, guys. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of content on the Ghost cards, and that's always the most fun part of the, you know, Christmas promo when they have Ghost cards up. Just seeing those images, like, that Randall Cunningham picture right now looks so cool to me. Like, I love to see the old art. I love to see the way the players used to look, and I'm really, really looking forward to, you know, so maybe some, I don't know, some uh, hints at, just older players that we have not seen in Madden, maybe some like surprises. I think it'll be really cool. But moving down here, we do have three more images. And Another highly, highly, you know, popular thing that people love with the Christmas promo. Oh, yeah. But continue, just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah, another thing that everyone loves to see. You're seeing it right now. I know the first thing you're looking at, it's either Calvin Johnson free safety or the kicker in Dominican soon. Of course, we do have a 91 overall strong safety of Jason Taylor here. Now, why in the world are we seeing a kicker in Dominican Sue, Jason Taylor? Well, we always get out of position players. This has been a tradition in Madden for, you know, as long as myself and London have been playing Ultimate Team, it seems like free safety Calvin, always one of the best players in Madden Ultimate Team the entire year when he comes out, obviously being six foot five. Being an absolute monster, being able to catch the ball as you know as well as anyone in the NFL at free safety, Calvin Johnson. That card is going to be money. Uh, and Dominican Sue Chase actually brought this up. You could put kickers at quarterback, so you could have Dominican Sue for whatever reason playing quarterback for you. Maybe at the one yard line, maybe doing a quarterback sneak. Like not only can you use that Dominican Sue at kicker, but you can use him at quarterback. Now it says here in the article, out of position players, another community favorite will also make the return to Ultimate Freeze. You'll be able to run some of your favorite players out of their natural position and have some pretty spectacular results. Look for these players in position. They actually used to play in college. So we're going to get players that play the positions in college in Madden Ultimate Team. That's why we see Jason Taylor playing strong safety. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot of more you know, cards. Maybe we'll finally get that Brian Erlacher that we've all been begging for. And maybe we might get a safety Brian Erlacher. You never know. Uh, we're going to see college players, high school players, you know, their position they played in those uh, states of their teams or for a few players in the pros. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be looking forward to seeing. I'm not sure, you know, what we might get. We saw a wide receiver, Johnny Manziel. We've seen this is not this year, but we seen we saw that Madden pass. We saw a wide receiver, Johnny Manziel, Macy, a wide receiver, Tom Brady. I think that'd be pretty funny. Obviously not going to be a great player, but are there any players you could think of off the top of your head that you would like to see? play out of position maybe a julio jones or you know i don't know like there's so many potential here to have yeah there's cards. there's a ton of players i mean somebody that i think of when they said you know back in their college days is denard robinson because he naturally had to swap over to be oh, yeah. drafted to the jaguars but i believe we actually had his item last year in ultimate team so it's going to be interesting to see how many new you know out of position players that they add because if this is something they do every year you got to wonder, you know, how how many more out of position players can they bring to the game unless they actually start doing it more often in NFL games today. So, I don't know, it's going to be very very fun to see what they do there and if they just bring back some of the older guys that we don't even see on this screen perhaps as part of some Christmas gifts if they decide to put those within the game. We're going to have to stay tuned and see what they do here. But the next picture you guys are seeing as we move along, we got some sets on the screen. You got the Madden past, present, and future ghost sets on the screen. Repeatable, of course, what we always like to see with our sets. We can do them as many times as we want to as long as we have the items that go in those. So it says new ultimate freeze sets where you are able to earn ghost of Christmas past, present, and future along with a whole new solo challenge. Arctic Rush will be adding more new and new events to experience more new adventures and events to experience like i said there guys a little bit of a mess up there in the article with the wording but yeah, we also have what'd you say i said yeah they did mess it up there i'm reading that right now yeah it was kind of getting me off guard but, but yeah as you see in the picture we're gonna have more of these upgrade sets what it looks like to be the theme with every promo so far with the new wild card slots and these are going to be for any frozen team logos so you know i guess those are kind of the road signs of this promo for christmas and if you add those it says out of position gold you can get players like that and then we're going to move on to the actual ultimate freeze players for this promo any gold player well actually i don't know if those are christmas items or not but i would think that it may be with see this, it does look like on know, the top okay. right corner on the top right corner of those it says oop out of position golds out of position elites and then mm -hmm. you can add any gold player to that set to get yourself 
you know, an out of position elite card. So there's a lot of potential here, guys. We could get a whole bunch of cool content. We're oh, yeah. Again, we're not exactly sure what we have to put into the Ghost uh, of Madden past, present, and future, but I'm sure eventually, you know, tomorrow when it comes out, hopefully we'll be able to see all that and, you know, get all the information out there for you guys. I'm sure a whole bunch of people are going to be uploading videos on it, so you will be able to see that. But definitely, like we've been saying, the Ghost cards are back. There are going to be Christmas presents in the game. We'll get to that here in a minute. I'm sure you guys are wondering where are the present information and stuff like that. We will get to that here in a moment. But the next image you're seeing on your screen right now, yes, guys, that is a 99 overall Bo Jackson. And that card looks amazing. Now, I do want to point out real quick, if you look, I'm not sure if it's picking up too well in the video right now. But if you look at the bottom right of the picture right there, where on the bottom of the card, the back, the of, back the card, of this card, yeah. you see Freeze, Ultimate Freeze Master. Now, Ultimate Freeze Master would indicate that he is a set player. Now, I'm not sure what players we're going to have to put in that set. Again, we don't know the full details, but it is kind of looking like we're going to have to put elite players in there. You know, gold players. Probably all the gold and all the elite players that are from the Ultimate Freeze. All the out-of-position players, if I had to take a guess, to get the Bo Jackson. Because that card is insane. 97 speed, 100 yeah. acceleration, 100 trucking. So he has 97 speed with 100 trucking. Like, that is absolutely amazing. 94 elusiveness, 95 juke, 92 ball carry, 92 agility. That is obviously, right off the bat, the best running back in the game by far. And, of course, it is going to cost a lot to do that. So if you have a lot of coins and you want to work on that, I mean, go for it. That Bo Jackson looks pretty sick. It does say Bo Jackson is back in, in, in his ultimate team's first 99 overall rated playing in Mutt 16. They're messing up on this article a lot if you're reading this right now. I don't know. Maybe that's why they didn't have it out. They're probably just proofreading. But it does pretty much say he's back in Madden Ultimate Team. He's the first 99 overall rated player in Mutt 16, which I don't even think that's true. I'm pretty sure OBJ is 99 overall. Isn't that true? Yes. Yeah, so yes. I don't know why they would put that. Bo lit up the field and was sidelined before his time. Relive his greatness and excitement by completing his Ultimate Team set. Bring together all the pieces of the Ultimate Freeze program and earn the most dominant player on the field. So that is true. We have to put absolutely everything in there. Collectibles, players, you name it. That's going to be in the Bo Jackson set, and it's going to cost a lot of coins. So, All right, I got something else to add to this once we get to the end here. But I'm sure you wanted me to go ahead and speak about the next little picture that we have here on the screen. So I guess I'll just go ahead and talk about it, guys. What you see right here, you got the flashback logo. We got, you know, the patches for captains, whatever they may choose it's to like do. We college. got the... Uh, the uh yeah well it could be we've seen stuff like that before in ultimate team and then we have the throwback so right here at the end what we spoke about a while ago will there be any gifts in ultimate teams ultimate freeze promo this year for christmas it says other holiday presents and surprises may be found during the ultimate freeze but you'll have to curl up in front of your console to find out what and it says welcome to the ultimate freeze so that's right guys it's time to break out the snuggies Get in front of your consoles Break and just camp the there and wait for the bundles, the ultimate freeze packs, whatever they do. The frost packs, if they add those back to the game. This was so fun last year. And Bo Jackson being the set reward last year, he was obviously, you know, a big surprise being one of the gifts that you could actually pull out of packs. So if we do go back to the Christmas gifts, it makes you wonder, guys, who is actually going to be the knockout of the park, the grand slam that we're going to be pulling out of packs to just blow everyone away in Ultimate Team this year. So if you guys would love to speculate in the comments below, we welcome you. Feel free. Ryan, do you have anything else to add to this as we draw near the end of the blog and enter the Ultimate Freeze promo in Mutt 16? Uh, yeah, guys. So about the presents, um, obviously, this is just a joke, but I'm just going to say it anyways. If you guys want to know what the best presents are, go follow ScoMo843 on Twitter. Again, yes. I'm just kidding. That's and just also, a joke. And <laughs> also, guys, also, if we have gifts, I'm already looking for the Chargers present, so you can find me on Twitter as well. Just obviously, if we're going to give you guys any advice right here, this is actually my advice, I'm sure, that you guys have seen. If you guys watched that stream early on in the year when they were just talking about Madden Ultimate Team, there's like Guru, Pixel Pusher, uh, Billy Shots on Twitter. They were discussing how Michael Strahan was coming to Madden Ultimate Team this year. So obviously, what better time than to release one of the best sack artists in the history of the NFL than during Christmas. So if you guys do see a Giants present or anything that would indicate a Giants present, a blue box, a Giants logo, something with like a gap tooth or something like that. I'm just throwing anything out here that we <laughs> can. 
Oh man, you remember Jeez. last year a lot of people were upset when we were predicting things and they weren't 100% accurate, so... Yeah, this just is not... It out there, guys. Yeah, this is not... This is just speculation, it's not 100%, but if you guys do see a Giants box, don't put it up there for cheap. Keep it, hold on to it for a little bit. If you start seeing the price rising a lot and you kind of just want to keep it, I would probably just keep it because you never know, man. That Michael Strahan can pop out of that, that Christmas box probably during Christmas. It's probably be the 25th when that comes out, so... Definitely be sure to keep that box because you might just have the most expensive card nestled under your, you know, item binder just sitting there waiting. Just snugged up and it's snuggy as London would say, just, just waiting to be pulled. So uh, that is going to be the whole details on the Christmas promo. We will have more, of course, once the actual promo does come out. I'm sure this is a rather long video. I haven't really been keeping track, but just trying to throw our our ideas out there and our speculations and stuff like that. So hopefully, you know, if you guys did not see the article and you're not unable, you know, maybe you don't have Twitter, you weren't able to see the article posted. This is why we make these videos. If London has anything else to say, I'm going to go ahead and watch the rest of this Cavs game and then get ready for tomorrow. Also, Star Wars. If you guys are watching Star Wars tonight, let me know down in the comments below. No spoilers. Yeah, definitely no spoilers. Alright guys, so there you have it, wrapping up the Ultimate Freeze promo details here in the game. So once again, let us know your thoughts and opinions so far. Now, it's not centered around Christmas gifts, but we could possibly still see some, and I believe that last sentence that we talked about pretty much guarantees that they're going to be dropping those in packs more than likely. So hopefully we're going to see some limited edition gifts, and even if we don't guys, this promo looks to be very entertaining and you know, just very fun to participate in. As it always has been, we got a lot of the fan favorites back, and we just hope it's going to be a blast. So as always, we will ask that if you guys enjoyed the video, to go ahead and shatter the like button and subscribe for more. So until next time, guys, roll tide.